In this lecture of analog communication, we will understand what is communication and the basic block diagram of the communication system and also we will see the workings of every elements used in the communication system. So let's get started. Communication is the process of conveying information of any kind from one point to another point. The word communication is originated from the Latin word communicare which means to share. Animals like cow, goat, lion and other animals make different types of noises when they are hungry. A baby cries when it is hungry and laughs when it is having fun. But the communication between two person is done with the help of either gesture or by using the language. So what is the purpose of communication? The purpose of communication is to communicate information bearing signal from the source located at one point in space to the user destination located at another point. Let's see the block diagram for this communication system. Model or block diagram of the communication system. Input signal generated by the information source is given as an input to the input transducer. Input transducer converts this input signal to the message signal and gives it as an input to the transmitter. This transmitter takes the signal from the input transducer and makes it ready for transmission by changing its frequency and energy. Output signal from the transmitter is given to the channel so that it can travel to the receiver. When the signal is traveling through the channel, it faces noise and distortion. Receiver block receives the signal and recovers the original message signal from the distorted message signal and finally gives it as an input to the output transducer. This output transducer converts the output signal from the receiver to the original signal. This signal is used by the people or any other user of information. So basically communication system can be divided into three sections namely sender section, channel and receiver section. Sender section is the section where the message signal is transmitted. It consists of information source, input transducer and transmitter. Channel is the medium through which a signal travels to reach its destination. Receiver section is the section where the message signal is received and it consists of receiver block, output transducer and the user of information or receiver. Let's see the detailed explanation of every element in this block diagram. The first element of the block diagram is the information source. Information source is the place where the input signal originates. The origin of the input signal could either be electric or non-electric. It could be a computer, music player, mobile, animal or a human that can generate a signal for transmission. So, information source is the place from where message signal in the analog form originates. Input signal is a signal which is generated by the information source. Input signal generated by the information source is generally analog in nature. Input signals generated by the information source could be an audio file, graphic image, electronic messages or human voice etc. Any electrical or non-electrical signal which is generated by the information source can be used as an input signal. Next element is input transducer. An input transducer converts the input signal into a message signal. The input signal can either be electrical or non-electrical signal. And the message signal is an electrical signal. And the conversion of a non-electrical signal into an electrical signal is done by using this transducer. After the conversion, this input signal becomes a time varying voltage signal. Means, it is an electrical signal whose voltage varies with the time. Without the input transducer, there could not be any effective way to transport a non-electrical signal over great distance. Let's say our input signal is a voice signal, then the input transducer will be a microphone and this microphone will convert the voice signal into an electrical message signal. Microphone converts the sound waves into electrical signal with the help of a diaphragm. These electrical signals can be used for further processing. So finally we can say that input to the input transducer is a non-electrical signal and the output is an electrical signal which can be used as a message signal. Just like microphone, there are a lot of different transducers which can be used, namely camera, keyboard, physioelectric crystals which converts the formation of solid crystals to electrical signal, 
geophones which convert a ground movement into an electrical signal thermocouples which converts electrical temperature of metal junction to electrical voltage input signal to the transducer is a low frequency high energy and non electrical signal and the output signal of the transducer is a low frequency low energy electrical signal transmitter output of the input transducer is given as the input to the transmitter transmitter generally takes the signal to the channel input signal to the transmitter is both weak and have a low frequency so the input signal needed to be modified in the transmitter for the sake of efficient transmission in order to do this transmitter passes the signal through an electronic circuit and the components of the electronic circuits are noise filters analog to digital converter or adc encoder modulator and signal amplifier noise filter eliminates the noise by using a adc converter signal is converted into digital signal from analog signal an encoder is used to encode the input signal modulator converts the low frequency signal to high frequency signal and after passing the signal through the amplifier the signal will be amplified and it will be ready for transmission at the end of the transmitter block there is an antenna from where the signal is released as electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiation so the transmitter converts the electrical signal into electromagnetic waves which are of high frequency and high energy so input signal to the transmitter is a low frequency low energy electrical signal and the output signal of the transmitter is a high frequency and high energy electrical signal our next element is the channel a communication channel is a medium through which a signal travels from one place to another the electromagnetic waves from the transmitter are given as the input to the channel there are two types of media or channel by which the signal travels one is known as guided media which is also known as wired channel and unguided media or wireless channels guided media refers to any medium that can be directed from transmitter to the receiver by the means of connecting cables like optical fiber or telephone line and the coaxial cables for the transmitter and the receiver is connected by wires the unguided media refers to any communication channel that creates space between the transmitter and the receiver just like radio communication the medium is air in the sonar communication the medium used for sending the signals from one place to another place is water through the channel a signal travels from transmitter to receiver during this time the signal will get affected by noise and distortion so input signal to the channel is a high frequency high energy electrical signal and output signal of the channel is a high frequency low energy and distorted electrical signal next element of the block diagram of the communication system is receiver the receiver receives either electromagnetic wave if the channel is unguided medium or electrical signal if the channel is a guided medium a signal travels from transmitter to receiver with the help of a channel during this transmission the signal will get affected by noise and distortion The goal of the receiver is to capture the signal and reconstruct the original transmitted signal before giving it as an input to the output transducer. This is done by passing the received signal through an electrical circuit. The circuit contains the following components: a noise filter, a digital to analog converter, decoder, demodulator and signal amplifier. The noise filter is used to eliminate the noise from the received signal. analog to digital converter converts the received signal into an analog signal the decoder decodes the received signal and the demodulator translate the high frequency signal to low frequency signal and the signal amplifier amplify the signal to increase the strength of the signal if the communication is done through unguided medium then there will be antennas on the both sides of the channel now the input signal to the receiver is a high frequency low energy distorted electrical signal Output signal of the receiver is a low frequency high energy distortionless electrical signal. Output transducer the output signal of the receiver is given as the input to the output transducer. Original form of the signal from the sender is a non electrical signal. So this transducer converts an electrical signal which is received by the receiver into a non electrical signal. In short output transducer simply converts the electrical signal which is created by the input transducer back into its original form example of the output transducer are speakers motor lamp etc 
Speaker converts the input electrical signal into audio signal. Motor converts the input electrical signal into movement or vibration. Input signal to the output transducer is a low frequency, high energy and distortionless electrical signal. Output signal of the transducer is a low frequency, high energy and distortionless non-electrical signal. Finally, user of information. User of information can be people or a group of people or any other living beings living in any part of the world. Electronic communication system. The communication system which is the combination of transmission, reception and the processing of information bearing signals between two or more location can be achieved with the help of electronic circuits. In the electronic communication system, it uses electronic media to transmit information or messages using computers, telephone, etc. This type of communication can be developed by sharing data like picture, graphics, sound, videos, etc. Due to this electronic communication, there is no necessity for the people to be present in order to make communication which can be carried out among the peoples around the world. Electronic communications are of several types. Based on the nature of information signal, it can be divided into analog communication and digital communication. Based on the techniques of transmission, it can be divided into baseband transmission and passband transmission. Based on the direction of communication, it is of unidirectional or simplex communication system and bidirectional or duplex communication system which can be divided into half duplex communication system and full duplex communication system. That's all for this lecture. If you have any doubts regarding this lecture then you may ask it in the comment section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.